One, two is a chopper towards the middle. Shortstop Gonzalez only as the flip to Gonzalez only as the flip to second. Innings took a no decision. Two, two. It's really clicking. One, two. Good night. Uh, a, a Florida or a Florida State. He stayed right where he was. Freshman. I doubt he's ever seen someone who throws this hard. Get it up to the mid to high 90s if he really needs it. There you go. You can do with it. Payoff pitch. He got a lot better than it has so far. 2-2. Two, two. Ball where he usually throws the fastball. 2-2 two, two. on the inside corner. It's your two. You don't even have to tell us what he did his first time up. Went away is yes, two thirds. Okay. Here's the one, two. Coffers two for nine. In the series, the one, two pitch. But Logan Gilbert's got it going today. The three, two. Swing and a miss. He's got another. One, one. Smack to third. Caught by Leitner. Dives. Double play. Has win. Has win. Not live and not coaching it, that's for sure. Uh, Logan was just phenomenal today. Um, to go out there and, and to have uh, 18 punch outs, no walks. Uh, you know, he had, he had two pitches going for strikes and he was locating things. And uh, it was just phenomenal, phenomenal performance by, uh, by Logan Gilbert today. How, how early in the game did you know it was something special? Uh, you know, the first thing he came out, and I thought his velo was up a little bit, and uh, he's been fighting a sore back. So, you know, Dave Thurneau, the pitching coach, and myself were sitting there. We were like, all right, we're going to be short today with him, and we got to have the bullpen all ready to go. And we were going over that in the first inning, and then I look at him, I'm like, are you sure he's feeling bad? But, um, you know, it, he really was under control of his body today and let his arm work, uh, you know, really hit his locations. I mean, Austin did a great job of, of calling a game today. So, you know, it was uh, obviously a great effort by, by Logan, but it was a great team win. You know, we, we hit and ran to get the run in. We had to do something to get that done just to get on the scoreboard first. And then, of course, in the last inning, you know, uh, we made a couple of big plays. We decided to, to be aggressive and bring the infield in to play for the win. And it worked out on the Logan, on uh, the first one to, uh, to Colt Leitner. We made a great play. And then the second one, he made an unbelievable play to get the double play. No, either of I. And, you know, he, he has, I've said this before, when I first got the Stetson back in January, you know, watching Logan take his, his practice and bullpens, I said, this guy's going to be able to win for us even if he doesn't have his good stuff. And when he gets his good stuff, he has no-hitter stuff. And you hate to use that word, but, man, he had he had good enough stuff to almost get to the no-hitter zone today. Please. But Austin just really is, you know, Austin's one of those catchers that really studies the game well, and he is so a prepared guy. And uh, I'm just a big fan of having a, a, a very smart catcher because it speeds the game up. It keeps the tempo going as opposed to re relaying pitches in all the time. Yeah, it's game-saving plays. I mean, I think there's three things that happen in this game. You know, uh, Ben Rowden went to his right the one time to make a nice play earlier in the game to save a to save a hit, and then certainly Colton made just trem two tremendous plays at third base, moving his feet, uh, getting underneath that ball when they had a contact play on through the plate, ran the run down well, and then certainly the last play of the game, you know, just leaving his feet, making the catch, and, and getting to the bag to get a double play. All these wins are great. They're conference wins, and they mean everything to us. Um, you know, I think that. Uh, it doesn't matter who you're playing. You want to dictate as a coach. They're they're very important. But you know, being five and one in conference after playing, you know, one of the top 20 teams in the country, you know, that's that's a big deal. I think going in this week, we we talked about it earlier. We knew this was going to be a tough week with some of the non-conference and certainly, you know, uh, a, a tremendous uh, Gulf Coast club. And uh, you know, to do what we did on Tuesday to Florida and, and kind of jumpstart us from that game and just start to get that mindset that you know we can play with anybody. We just got to execute some plays and play well. If we play clean and we can throw strikes and don't walk guys, we're going to be yeah, in ball. Well, I was making sure I was as loose as possible, just keep stretching out. Trav did a great job with me between innings. I mean, my back really wasn't feeling good, but it's just the type of game out there where you just forget about all that stuff and you just you know, do what you have to do, try to execute one pitch at a time. And uh, that's that's what you know kept me in so long without having to worry about it. So I don't know. I mean, the first inning felt pretty good, and then I guess after the second inning, you know, you, you think something's going on, and from there, it just kept getting a little better every time. And uh, I don't know. I try not to worry about it too much. I try not to think about you know what's going on during the game. It's just uh, what batters up and what pitch am I, I'm going to throw. I mean, give a lot of credit to Hale back there. He called a great game as always. Uh, we were just working together really well. Uh, slider felt good. I felt like I had the fastball going to both sides of the plate. And um, from there, it's just sequencing, like I said, Hale, and then the defense. Give a ton of credit to Light and Rowden and those guys because they really uh, saved me a couple of times. I knew it was getting up there a little bit. I tried not to think about it. Uh, at one point, you know, I was just thinking I haven't really thrown from the stretch much in a while, and then that's when it's like, oh, you know, something, something's going on here. So, uh, but no, I try not to worry about it too much. Um, I looked up sixth or seventh inning. I mean, we had a really good chance to score, uh, so everybody was up, and I'm like, 
wait nobody's nobody's talking to me for a while i don't know if we're just cheering on our team here or trying to stay away from me but uh yeah it was pretty funny um, i was just trying to execute a slider i felt like it was a good pitch and give a lot of credit to him for you know hitting that triple right there that was big um but yeah i guess i didn't have to worry about the no hitter or anything anymore so oh that was unreal colton he's just that type of guy you know he's gonna if you have a guy like colton behind you there's gonna be a lot of plays made so i i it's it's hard to say i didn't expect something like that because of how crazy it was but that's just that's who light is he makes those plays when it counts so you know i gotta go make sure i tell him thank you a couple more times because that was big anywhere no, i don't think so i don't think i've gone past seven innings before honestly so i mean to go nine and you know this many strikeouts and stuff it's crazy but you know just glad we got the win and took two from golf coast so that's big yeah that was that was unreal uh, i was just telling colton that I, that was probably close with the Atlantic Sun Championship last year, like game with Florida Gulf Coast again. That was one of the best games I've ever been a part of. That's, that's college baseball for you. But yeah, no, Logan was just competing out there before the game. I mean, he was kind of hurting and I mean, I think he just went out there and we had a plan with just throwing, you know, a lot of fastballs. And once we learned that, I mean, they were just kind of struggling with the kind of the velocity. We just worked with that and he was just executing unbelievably. He was challenging guys in. I mean, Rivera, I mean, he wasn't afraid to hit them and about 90% of the time he was commanding it in and I, it was just it was awesome uh, I noticed that once he got through two innings of six K's and then once he got nine I was like all right we're we're gonna we're gonna scrap this one and then once I, you know we see in pro baseball like a lot of times they'll have you know where they scrap a run for a one nothing game it's a perfect game through eight or whatever and I just I like knew in the back of my mind I'm like this is a game you don't lose in this situation I mean you, you got a point for the for your pitcher obviously but I mean it was just I am out of words. It was awesome, especially the 17th ranked team in the nation. I mean, you can't ask for a better weekend. Oh, it was awesome. It was upbeat. It was, you know, uh, Lightner came out there and said, hey, watch for the safety squeeze right here because that's probably something they're working with. I mean, I had no problem. I told Logan, I said, hey, you're fine. Execute right here. We're going to get out of this, blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, he, he kind of hit that same. I'm surprised the guy ran really am. But once he ran and he threw home to me and we got that out, it was a big out. And then big, I mean, he just wasn't afraid. The thing that I noticed is different about Logan today versus other strikes, he just wasn't afraid to throw at, at the guys. I mean, obviously you we we joke a lot of the time about how he says emotion equals weakness. I don't necessarily agree with that to some extent. But, um, no, he was calm, cool, collected on the mound. He was definitely locked in. And uh, once once we won that game and I saw a little emotion, maybe a little happy that he had some emotion going. <laughs> it was awesome. I mean, it felt like we just won a conference championship. I mean, you can't you can't ask for a better weekend with that situation. I mean, everybody played together. We scrapped a run through. We could have added another run, but I mean, we found ways to win. And I mean, we were just it was I it was awesome. What did oh, you it was a great week. I mean, we beat the crap out of Florida. And uh, you know, I would like my two for three of the home run on my stat sheet, but I mean, it was we beat the crap out of them. We battled with UCF. I mean, I think we could beat them. We just kind of just hit the ball around a little bit and just didn't fall through or anything like that. But then played Gulf Coast and we won Friday night. I mean, that was a great game too. And then Saturday was a close one too. I mean, they're all, you know, close basically, which is, you know, you see the crowd. There's a big crowd here for a Sunday game. And I mean, that's what you asked for. And they were gutting into it when he came out in the ninth inning. It was, it was fun. I did not really, I didn't realize Logan had the, he had a perfect game going after seven innings. So I was sitting in the dugout and I just kind of felt my stomach drop and I got really nervous. And then, uh, so the ninth inning out there, I was, I was, trying to control my breathing, real nervous. And then as soon as he gave up the first hit, I kind of locked in and said, we got to win this ball game. And then next plays at me, next two plays are at me. So just locked in, made the plays. It's easy to, it's easy to make those plays when Gibby's pitching the way he is. Uh, the right uh, level, he had come to me before in the series, the first game of the series. So I knew he kind of was a pull hitter. So I was just kind of ready to make a play. And uh, yeah, yeah, gun him out at home. Hale executed the rundown perfectly and that worked out and then the next one, it just happened. It's uh, funny, I was telling coaches that uh, it's one of those plays you run through in your mind before it happens. And uh, I actually thought if it hit a line drive with me, I'm going to first base because Spooner's already there. The guy gets a bigger lead. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it just all just happened. I couldn't tell you exactly how it happened, but we got it and we won. It's awesome. It proved that we're as good as anybody. I, I think we, we've known we were this good for a while. and. Uh, just to see the Tuesday at Florida, Wednesday battle with UCF, and then here just three great games. Uh, just play our tails off. It was it was awesome. We know we're a great team now, and we're I think we're gonna get. Ready.